Hey there everyone. Okay, so porosity and permeability. The lab that you guys got for me today. Okay, so it's determine the relationship between particle size and water retention, particle size and porosity, and particle size and permeability rate. And that's what we're going to work on today, and that's what you're going to see me do. We got a chart. We're going to do porosity and water retention first. We're going to take a look at four millimeter beads and eight millimeter beads. You guys on Monday next week will be doing uh, the 12 millimeter beads, okay? So I need 100 milliliters of beads. These are 4 milli milliliter beads, okay? Make sure that it's 100 milliliters exactly, okay? So I got my graduated cylinder, it's full up to 100 milliliters, and now I'm going to put it into a, and I'm going to put it into a large water column such as this, okay? 100 milliliters right here, beads, set one. Okay, now we're going to do 100 milliliters of 8 millimeter beads. Okay, there you go. 8 millimeter beads filling up to 100 milliliters. And I have 100 milliliters. Okay, and again, you guys will be doing the 12 milliliter at in class on Monday. So, our first question is for bead color, well, we got blue and white. And red and white. So this is red and white for the four. And we have blue and white for the for the eight. So we need to do a percentage, a percentage of water. I just filled up a hundred milliliters of beads in here. But it wasn't just beads, there was air in between the beads. Okay? And what we want to find out is how much air was in there. Okay, porosity is a measure of the air space in between the particles. Okay, it's the pore space, not pores in your skin, but pores is in open air cavities in between each of the beads. So what I'm going to do is, and the reason why I filled it up out of 100, for those of you that are math people, might be realizing, hey, wait a second, 100 makes really easy percentages. Okay, so that means I am going to utilize 100 milliliters of water, 100 milliliters of water. So I'm going to take 100 milliliters of water and put it in with 100 milliliters of beads. And I'm going to fill that all the way up to the top, realizing that if 100 milliliters of beads is in here, if I go up to the top, then I'm going to be able to figure out where exactly, where exactly the air or all the water fills in or pushes out the air in between each one of the beads. And I can find out by just simply doing some basic math out of 100 as to what the percentage of air is in this tube because the beads have air in between them. So we're going to do that right now. Okay? So I'm going to fill this up ever so carefully. I can see it fill in between the nooks and crannies. Do a little tap there. And the beads have all sorted out. And I find that I have 55 milliliters in my graduated cylinder. So the water in the beaker or graduated cylinder would be 55. Okay? That means of the 100 left over, how much is in the tube? 55 minus 100, it would be 45. So the porosity or the open space in between the beads is about 45%. So about almost half, a little bit less than half, is open air in between the beads. Okay, so now we're going to test for water retention. Water retention is how much water sticks to the beads after I drain the water out. So I'm going to let the water run through them now that they've been totally covered up by water. Okay, I'm going to let the water out. Let it drain. There's a screen at the bottom so the little beads don't fall out. And we got the last little drips of water there. And I am now going to put it back inside the graduated cylinder. And we're going to find out how much water stuck to the beads themselves. Okay? So we're not going to end up with more than 100. We've got to have less than 100 there. So if I look at this, I find that there are, is 93 milliliters of water here in the tube. Started out with 100. Now I have 93. So that means that it must be 7 seven milliliters left in the tube. So seven percent porosity, or water retention, okay? So let's run that through one more time. So we have 
100 milliliters of water. And I'm going to slowly fill this up again. Tube clamped. I overfilled a little bit there. If I check this, I have 55 in here right now. 55 means that there must be 45 in here. So once again, measuring, I have 55 here, 45 here. So that means it must be 45% porosity. And now let's do water retention. that we have 96 on or in the graduated cylinder. So if I started out with 100, poured it in there, now I only have 96. That means it must be there's 4 milliliters in the beaker, so the water retention is 4%. Permeability rate is how fast the water will travel through the beads. Okay, 500 milliliters of water, we're going to time it through the uh, tubes. And uh, I'm going to do one of them. And that you can watch, and then I'm just going to speed up the, the um, process so that you don't have to sit there and watch me do this. It's another reason why you're doing it on a video, so that thereby we don't have to like, suffer through watching you fill up multiple times. So, um, so I have my 5 milliliters. Put the beads, go back down to the bottom, get some of them float. And I have my stopwatch, and I'm going to run through this trials, start, and see the speed at which the water goes through the thing. And it takes about eight and a half seconds to go through, so this is the red and the white. Trial, 8.5 seconds, and we'll do another one. You guys can do the average of that, okay? And then we take the water from this one, and we put this one to the ground, and we bring this one up. And now we're going to do the, the blue and white. Zero seconds. So you'll have to do the averages on those. Add them up, divide by four, okay? Uh, and then in class, we will do the blue and the uh, the, 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 the so 12 millimeter beads. You'll come up with the trials. Everybody gets a chance to, to do this once. So there will be some questions that I'd like you to do on the conclusion questions, okay? Uh, focusing on 1, 2, 3, 11, 12, and, and uh, there you go, okay? Make sure you do these in pencil so that thereby if you make mistakes on them, we'll correct them. Um, see you on Monday, and I hope you guys like the flip lab, or at least the flip demo lab today, so bye.